Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, on the latest episode, we I was showing you guys how to do a quick, easy um, resin tutorial for resin acrylic ink coasters. So I did a few of those yesterday, um, and I just wanted to show you guys the actual end results after everything has solidified and settled. Um, so this is the one that we were working on. I always have so much fun like demolding these because like the sound just never gets old. <gasps> Yay, look at that. So this is the end result and this is what we are looking for and this is why you should allow your resin molds to set up for for an extra long time so you get that firmer look. super super good the effects never get old for me and here's another one I just wanted to do you know like kind of like one big set um, you know with like a couple of big ones and then a couple of small ones so there's that one damn the colors look really 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 good and this is so this is you know what happens when you're not overwhelming the colors too much you're not pouring too many of them in and this is why it's so important that you use the white so it can push itself down here um, and then I did a couple of small ones see this is just a prime example of what happens when you're overwhelming the colors too much so I would suggest if you're gonna do a smaller coaster to just take it easy with the coloring don't get too crazy um, yeah you can tell that I overwhelmed it too much but that's all a part of like the learning experience like you're gonna make mistakes and that's okay this one I think this one's gonna be the same way too it feels like it yeah just a little bit so I, I mean it's got the really good effects there you can see like where I've utilized the white a lot from where it's pushed itself down but because I was using too many colors like they just kind of made it look a little bit more on the blotish side and just like I said before if you use too much of the acrylic inks then you're gonna get this stuff right here um, building up on the end and I mean you can always sand it down too that's totally fine but again you're gonna kind of get this icky looking color and it won't be as clean um, this one I did for fun um, I had actually mixed an acrylic ink pink in there and did some glitter and then I just did the acrylic inks like over the top to me it looks messy already but let's look at the bottom well this is the bottom but this this will, this will actually be the top so not too bad it's kind of a cute little cute little coaster you know if you're like really really addicted to glitter the way that I am <laughs> But that's not too bad but probably something I won't be experience I won't be experimenting with anytime soon because with me I just I really really like that clearish I like how that is um, here's one other thing that I was having fun with while I had the acrylic inks out was my little silicone cat um, and this is so much fun to do too because you can find eyeballs to put in there <clears throat> super cute and that's why I like these eyeballs because they look very very realistic and they also creep the hell out of me because it looks like it's following you <laughs> but that's uh this is the beauty of acrylic inks you guys so here's my little coaster set 
Oh my god, see, isn't that like so cute? I'm telling you guys, once you work with acrylic inks and resin, you will be forever addicted. You're welcome. Um, my next video, I'm hoping to do a little bit more different things with silicone molds, possibly working with glitter, and then following up with like some tile coasters, which are so much fun to do, especially with acrylic inks, and I will show you guys why. If you like this, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day, guys.